Guys, my name is Man City Man TV. I'm How here with an American fan called Jordan. So, uh, Matt. I'm Matt. Matt. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. What do you think of today's game? Thought it was uh, exciting. We had great seats. It was a disappointing result for sure, but it was it was still fun. Uh, good, great experience. Never been to a Premier League game before, and this was uh, one of the bucket list so items. You've so. chosen the Manchester Derby as yes, your first one. Yes, we uh, we were able to you know, get get tickets to the Philadelphia Supporters Club, so it was a hell of an experience. So, yeah. are you actually members of the Philadelphia Sports Club? Yeah, absolutely. How big is it? How big is the uh, club over there? It's a solid size club. I don't know the numbers, but I would say 50 plus. Yeah, 50 plus good, people. Good, so, good, great, good. great following in Philadelphia. So, there'll so. be a few jealous of you then. Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. But obviously, not the result we wanted. No, that, that penalty kick was, uh, I would say, controversial. I haven't seen the replays yet, but it seemed like it was uh, questionable at best. But Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. How do you think we actually played? Did United play better than us? Or? Um, I think past the first 30 minutes, City dominated play as they would normally do and got plenty of chances, but after you're up 2-0, you can really pack it in, so it's tough to tough yeah. to break through. And after uh, Otamendi's header was was a great great uh, rise, I guess, in the game, but we could have used that about 15, 20 minutes earlier. Probably. Yeah, so. I think it's the first corner we've scored in a few weeks, that. Yeah. We don't yeah. generally score from corners. Absolutely. No, that frustrates me constantly. So. And now, obviously, we're 14 points behind Liverpool. Yep. Out the title race. I, uh, at this point, I would be happy with the Champions League if we're able to get that and uh, title race. I would, you know. So, for you, is that what we should focus on now, Europe? I, I, I believe so. I've been saying that since uh, since we lost to Liverpool a couple weeks ago. But, yeah, I, I think that Champions League would be the better thing to focus on versus uh, the title yeah. this year. Well, we've lost to Liverpool, we've lost to United. It's a bit of a worrying trend, this. We don't seem to be doing well against the rivals at the moment. Not at the moment, but typically we do. So I, uh, I'm not, yeah, I'm not, not giving up hope yet. But I, I think, I think there's still a very strong team that this was a kind of a fluke performance tonight with a bad <laughs> penalty call that changed the game. So well, hopefully we'll go on with an upward threat. Who was your man of the match? Anyone? Um, for me, it's pretty much always Kevin De Bruyne. It's tough for me to not think, uh, see what he's doing on the field, and uh, not not think he's the best player on the field. But um, yeah, so I'd, I'd say even with tonight, I'd say probably De Bruyne. Well, have you had a good time over there? Considering I know the results not gone your way. Absolutely. Even uh, even with the results, been a, it was a hell of an experience. And uh, yeah, Eddie had was a, was a great time. We we don't really have sporting events like this in the U.S. that have the have the vibe that a uh, Premier League soccer game does. So do you want to? Have you got a flag on there? Do you want to show us your flag? Yeah, sure. Philadelphia Sports Club flag. Here we go. There you go, guys. Philadelphia Sports flag. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. You wear that loud and proud. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Martin here, Man City Man TV. Cheers. Cheers.